Welcome to part 27 of Trials of Mana. We got Flammy. And now we have to go after the Crimson Wizard who has abducted Fairy. No Mode 7 required for this one. We have to return to Altena. That's where the Crimson Coward's gonna be located. And hopefully we get to fight his ass. Fairy's in danger! You've gone too far, Crimson Wizard! You better not have done anything to Fairy! Angela, in particular, has taken that personally for some reason. <laughs> the Fairy was not the one that was inside you all the time. Mostly because I didn't pick you for that scenario. But... I could've. Anyway, Altena works as both a town and a dungeon. The trio has to work their way through the castle, which is not that long. Thankfully, we already have enough dungeons that are like half an hour long as is. You pretty much have two different weapons for each of the classes. You got the Pale Storm and the German Cat's Balger for Duran. You got the Rebel Wand and the Skull Staff for Angela. And you got the Golden Spear and the Mithril Spear for Reese. Hopefully I can pronounce Cat's Balger right, because I, I have not learned German at all. <laughs> I've taken Spanish, but not German or French or any other language for that matter. Meanwhile, taking a quick look at the armor shop, look at all this crap! <laughs> and this is stuff I need to buy. I don't need to buy all of it, just only the best stuff here. But still, holy shit. Good choice. Now these shops, after the third act, or pretty much after this next part, are going to be outdated because Niccolo and his good old cat friends are going to give us some stuff. For a fee, of course. Which, honestly, some of those items are worth more than a pretty penny, but trust me, some of the next dungeons will give you enough cash, and it's worth buying, trust me. <laughs> Just trust me. All right, so let's give Reese the strong armlet, and let's give Angela the strong armlet. There we go. Despite the name Welcome. being strong armlet, it does not raise strength at all. It only raises magic defense and defense. Now, you'll notice that when you're exploring the town, you'll see a whole bunch of mages, which attacked us earlier throughout the story, but now they aren't attacking us anymore. I don't know, that would have been a neat dynamic to have these mages attack you if you talk to them or just they spot you out of nowhere and they throw a fireball or something, but oh well, they don't. <laughs> and with Angela in the party, that would have given them even more incentive to fight us, but oh well, I guess they know their place. But when we enter the castle, that's when all bets are off, apparently. Anyway, I'm done screwing around. Let's go into the castle. Starting with the courtyard, there's going to be a whole bunch of black mages roaming around. Pretty simple. They always attack from long range, so staying on top of them will render them useless until they back up. Into the foyer, that's when chess knights will start to appear, and they are a bit tougher than their mage counterparts. For one thing, the knights have this ambush attack that's kind of like a counterattack in a way, but not really. They jump into the air and try to pancake you, or at least attempt to. Here's what the attack looks like. <laughs> and Reese got flattened. So not a bad enemy, but they do have a couple of tricks up their sleeve. Or coat. Do horses even have sleeves? I don't even know. Anyway, we have to go down into the cellar in order to unlock this magic gate. There's going to be this cell area with hopefully a secret here. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a jar. Oh, lovely. It's good to know that the prisoners of war escaped already. Bad thing is, they probably escape with our shit. Machine golems are now basic ass enemies, at least for Castle Altena. They don't have as many weapons as their boss versions, and they definitely don't have the armor. You can take these things down in two combos. Disappointing, yes, but that's pretty much almost every RPG and beat em up ever made. Pallet swaps. Pallet swaps all day. And boss recycles. Oh man, Streets of Rage 1 was kind of bad with the boss recycles. 
as well as 2 and 3 and 4. Actually, no. 2 and 3 were decent with it, 4 kind of got bad with the boss recycles again, but 2 and 3 were good. Anyway, more black mages and... Oh, wizards, okay. Yeah, there was a... Yeah, another palette reswap. I was just talking about this. <laughs> okay, I will admit, the third act of Trials of Mana is, um... A bit weird. The game becomes way more open than before, so that's good, but you're still tied to destroying the eight bosses. So the game is still linear in a sense. There's no real freedom. It's not like you could just... Go to the gold saucer, for example. Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> but yeah, you're just tied to the story quest with no real side activities until, well, the end of the game. And even at the end of the game, there's no real side activities. You have to wait until post-game for that stuff, and that's kind of disappointing. But oh well, it doesn't matter. Actually, it kind of does. I just want to break from the main story, goddammit. <laughs> And why was Angela just posing for the camera there? <laughs> what was hap- what's happening? Like I said, the third act is gonna get strange. I'm taking a miracle cookie so I can level up faster. And that's a good thing, I, I like the miracle cookies in Trials of Mana. Hopefully they return in the new game, I honestly don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. But from what it looks like, the new game looks good. Can't wait to play it in a couple of weeks. Over here is going to be a treasure chest. I can't pass through that. There's a wall. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to take the long way around. That's super stupid. Just have the whole section of the bridge be destroyed. Don't have that little piece like you can walk on the ledge. <laughs> That's so weird. Anyway, number one game to sign aside. We just walk through this bridge. Or walk over this bridge and then you get to the treasure chest. And I think this might be one of the mystery item seeds. Let's take a look. No, it's a silver seed. Close enough, but no cigar. Not even a cigarette. Anyway, we should be getting closer to the statue that will take down the magic barrier. Which, believe it or not, is the same or at least a similar looking statue to the one that's outside of Falsena in the marsh area. So that's kind of weird. It's almost like there's a connection. <laughs> Freaking freeze frames. Yep, there's the statue, but I'm not going to go for the statue just yet. There's another treasure chest over here. I like treasure, okay? Come on. We got a gold item seed this time. Okay, so maybe there weren't any mystery seed items in here, but in the next dungeon we should be stumbling across a few. The statue is protected only by wizards and black mages for some reason. This is the best they can do. <laughs> They're still getting some good hits in on me, though. Sweet. We interact with the statue. The barrier on the upper level is gone. Now we have access to the throne room. So with that, we can finally proceed upstairs and give the Crimson Wizard what for. All in all, Castle Altena is not that long. It's really just littered with a whole bunch of treasures that take you off the beating path. But the area itself is super straightforward. Sweet. Okay, what's in this treasure chest? Oh, a couple wishes. That could be useful. And that's pretty much it. You can walk over this ledge, but not the other ledge. That makes no sense. But anyway, this is a shortcut back to the beginning of this area. Or at least the stairway leading down to the cellar, not the beginning of the area. That will be the castle gate. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Sneak behind the knights. I don't want to fight those guys again. And here's a bit of a last hurrah for Altana's guard. We want to go after the mages first. 
they can be a bit of a nuisance if left unchecked. You got three machines with two mages, and those three machines all have shields, so you definitely want to stick and move here. Especially with, ah, oh, god damn it, Angela, what are you doing? You can't dodge rocket punches, can ya? Honestly, it looks like she really can't dodge those rocket punches. Wow. At this stage of the game, is it really worth questioning these things? At least the weak point of the machines are still the back. Yeah, that's right. Hit them in the back like a real man. <laughs> I really should be using my special, but uh, I'm gonna save up. I'm gonna save the special for something else. No, that was not good, Angela. That was not good. <laughs> Knew I should have picked Kevin for this. At least he can take enemies down before he croaks. Now it's time to see the Crimson Wizard and all of his shenanigans and nonsense. Oh yeah, and Angela's mother. Who is strangely not as bad as she lets on. She's still a neglectful parent, so I don't know where he'll stand on that whole situation. You are too late. Now, if you wish to save Fairy and the Queen, you must give me that sword of yours. Mother! Please do not move, Princess Angela. <sighs> Evil cur! <laughs> Call me what you will. I'll take that sword now. If you move an inch, I cannot guarantee the lives of Fairy or Her Majesty. Oh, so this is the Sword of Man! Ah! Look at that! The sword doesn't want a corrupt soul like yours anywhere near it. Magic bullshit powers activate! The sword of mana reflects the heart of its wielder. Good or wicked. The Dragon Lord's dark power will change the sword into a vessel of evil. We've... we've done it. <laughs> the Sword of Mana belongs to the Dragon Lord. Uh, no! We are done here. Now we must use the sword on each mana stone to release the seals on the Benevodons. <laughs> what are you doing? You promised! I simply demanded the sword. I never said I would spare any of you in the end. You have no honor. Fight me right here and now! Sadly, I have no more time to waste on you, pitiful heroes. But do not fret. Once we free each of the Benevodons, you will all die, sooner or later. You may live for now and watch the world perish. Consider it a gesture of appreciation for the sword. <laughs> Sorry. You lost the sword because of me. Fairy, it's not your fault. Are you okay? They're trying to revive the Benevodons. So, what do we do now? Oh no! It started already! Quick! Let me back inside you! I'll show you what's happening to the stone! your eyes.
Right now, all eight Benevadons are separate. So, if we can defeat each one before they join and combine their power, the world might yet be saved. Let's go to the Mana Stones. And it's time for the World Tour. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised the Crimson Wizard didn't just kill us right then and there since he had the Sword of Mana. But then again, the Crimson Wizard is stupid. Pretty much every villain in this game is, well, except for Belladonna, is bordering on stupidity. And even Belladonna is kind of dumb. <laughs> Alright, so, looking at the map, we got eight locations to take on. And one of those locations is right close to us in Altena, or the outskirts of Altena, that is. So in the next episode, we're going to go there, kick some ass, and then go on to the next boss. Because that's what this part of the game is about. I'll see you guys later. Holy crap, it's raining so hard outside. What is going on?